see here is a sword, a 16th century sword, or to be more exact, a late 16th century Italian sword made by Deltin. The number which Deltin sword maker, Italian sword maker, sells it for is 2161 Deltin sword. As I mentioned, described as an Italian sword, late 16th century. This type of swords is, they're called um, side swords by the collectors and also by practitioners of, Ita of Italian or European uh, swordsmanship. But as we all know, in historical texts, these were simply called swords and not a side sword. As far as the dimensions of this sword, the dimensions are concerned, this sword is 108 centimeters long and weighs 1330 grams. It is so well balanced that you hardly feel it when you handle the sword. Meaning, it is so well balanced that once you hold it, you don't uh, feel the weight of it actually. As I mentioned it to you, these swords uh, were simply called swords and in the early uh, times they were called also cut and thrust swords, which all you can argue that most swords can be used for cutting and thrusting, so later to side sword, but there were historical texts that were simply called swords. The grip of this sword is made of wood and is wrapped by metal wire, the steel wire, very beautiful. And you see that the, the, there are also two uh, rings made of uh, copper alloy, which separates uh, them, the, these wires which are on the handle. You see that also the guard of the sword are chiseled geometric design the same as with the pommel it sits quite well in your hand once you hold it in your hand if i can put it here you can put your finger for example here and then it allows you to maneuver the sword very well and at the same time offers protection for your hand and also for your finger if I may call it an Italian grip, I'm not so sure if you really can call it only that way. But anyhow, this protects your finger, your index finger as well. The blade is quite um, nicely done, it's flexible and this can be used and is well balanced for use. If I change the side of this, you can see the, the other side of the blade here as well. How it is made, I just we go closer to it so you can take a look at it and see the intricacies of the blade here. Also on this side of the blade. We should note that many Italian masters of the 16th century, they thought the sword or the use of the sword or the way swords was used or swordsmanship as one of the main ways of fighting or sword as the principal weapons for fighting. Giacomo di Grassi in his 1594 manual or swordsmanship manual, which is called his true art of defense, stated that among all the weapons used in these days, meaning back then, there is no other weapon, there is no other weapon as honorable or more honorable, more useful and usual or safer than the sword is.
Back then, as we know, when we go to the Renaissance era, the Italian sword masters were mostly known for the use of the trust-oriented rapier. But we should not forget that this style of sword did not develop out of nowhere. I mean, the rapier. Earlier swords used the cut as well as the truss, and this is one of them, right? And even rapiers, you can come and argue, could be used for some cuts as well, shorter cuts. But this sword, as you can see here, if I may call it a cut and truss style blade, style blade, is what, as I mentioned, it is called a side sword or a spada da lato, right? To differentiate it more from uh, mainly trust-oriented blades as rapiers were mainly meant for. If we come back to the uh, grip, as I said, the grip is made of wood and wire wrapped. As you can see it here, this is wire wrapped. And the wire wrapping grip is capped with um, cast bronze alloy ferrules. And these are cast, as you can see it here, right? And they separate it. They're like a two separating points. And these ferrules, are made to look like, if I may call it that way, Turks had knots. And okay, this is a way of saving costs, but at the same time, so it looks good here. On this uh, sword of Saint Maurice, you see these these were wrapped correctly, as, as that one was a um, really custom made sword. Please check that Saint Maurice sword or Reisschwert here on my channel. The sword has a, the blade has a good temper and you can use it for uh, sparrings, right? And um, I really like the balance of this sword as I mentioned before. And it can also be used, it can also be used uh, in conjunction with Magosh or left handed dagger which I uh, showed on this uh, channel before. Let me just uh, show the blade from the side for those of you who ask me to do that. This is a diamond section blade, you see that? So this is the way it looks. So I'm just going slowly here so you can take a look at this. At the end, I would like to stress that you can use this sword both for trusting and for cutting, no problem. And um, I really like the look and also the balance of this uh, sword. Thank you.